thanks for watching. This is Becky Vardaman with Converge Consulting. Um, earlier this year, my friend and colleague Ryan Lindsay posted this great blog to our blog, Seven Helpful Google Analytics Dashboards. So I'm going to take just a couple minutes today to show you how you can take advantage of all these different dashboards he's posted for you. So if you've never done this before, um, each one of these is actually linked to a link for the dashboard. So I'm going to right click and open a new tab or you can just click directly on it if you want it to open in the same tab. And what that does is it brings up Google Analytics. Um, I'm already logged in. It might prompt you to log in if you've not logged in already. From here, it lets you select which view you'd like to put this in. Um, I've got tons and tons of views in here. But let's search and put it into um, our Converge Consulting view. And you can also change this here if you want to add um, whatever you want to change that title to uh, of the dashboard can be done in this step. When you click create, what this is doing is it's actually bringing a, a version of this dashboard into the private um, dashboard section up here on the left for your view. No one else will be able to see this yet. From here, if you wanted to, you could click on that little edit of each one of those and change things around. Um, here you'll see a lot of the dimensions and metrics that the widgets are based on. Um, this one I like, so I'm going to leave it just as it is. So you do a little editing, you work with this, you make it however you'd like it to be. And once you're ready, you can click the share. And once you share the object, that dashboard will now appear under the shared dashboards. So anybody on your team with Google Analytics access will be able to see that dashboard. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the dashboards in that post.